सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्जॉटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डायरेक्ट मोशन ऑफ जुपिटर व्हिच इज हैपनिंग फ्रॉम 11th अगस्त 2019 टू 5th नवंबर दिस ईयर 2019 इन द साइन ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो बिकॉज फ्रॉम नवंबर 5th इट इज गोइंग टू एंटर द साइन ऑफ सेजिटेरियस इट्स मूल त्रिकोण साइन ऑल राइट बट टिल दैट टाइम it will go direct in the sign of scorpio in jeshtha nakshatra all right so it's a very important transit because many things will start unfolding now okay so we need to discuss about it and many people had requested me to make a video as soon as possible so here you go there's the video and yes some of you have asked me when will i make the video on jupiter's transit into sagittarius that video will also come very soon and the saturn transit video into capricorn january 2020 will also come very soon okay and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation from me regarding this direct motion of jupiter then you could go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him because now jupiter is direct no you will find him even if he is not direct all right so what's happening currently today is 6th august and jupiter is almost going to station from the next two days i would say in fact from tomorrow itself or maybe the time when you start seeing this video and from 11th which is this sunday it is going to go direct now what is a retrograde planet retrograde planet is a very interesting planet retrograde planet they say is a planet which is in a state of shock shock doesn't mean uh, there there is a problem with that planet but there is something unusual unusual mean thing means that things are not going the way you expected many people told me that we expected bad things and good things happened we expected good things and bad things happen all right so what ultimately happens in your life will depend on the dasha all right no transit of any planet either it's saturn rahu ketu jupiter sun moon mercury venus mars can do anything in your life unless the dasha permits or dasha agrees okay and nothing can happen if the dasha denies all right so if you feel that you are getting too much confused with the transits then just see what your dasha is indicating okay where is the dasha lord sitting what is the natural signification of that planet which are the houses the dasha lord rules okay which sign is the dasha lord placed so these things will give you a clue ultimately but now what happens is when a planet is retrograde imagine you have to go to a, a place and then you have your key and then suddenly you remember that oh the my key is not there in my pocket it's in my home so then what happens is now you run twice faster 10 times faster because you have to catch up the time yes so suppose for you to walk to a place in the 10 minutes now if you have walked for 2 minutes and you see that you don't have the key or you have missed some important thing then what happens you will run 10 times faster because now you will really get late because you have wasted so much time right so that means once we get the key now we start moving fast faster or the fastest so that means now is a time when the houses ruled by jupiter depending on your ascendant again i am repeating now is the time the house is ruled by jupiter depending on your ascendant okay so if you're a pisces lagna then your lagnesh and your 10th lord if you are a sagittarius then your lagna lord and your fourth lord okay so if you're a capricorn it's the uh, third lord and the 12th lord okay so depending on your ascendant now is the time the houses which are ruled by jupiter the significations of those houses will start moving very fast okay so especially you will realize this if jupiter is the lord of your 6th or 10th or 11th these three houses then you will see that now 
things related to your career is moving very fast okay now is the time that you will actually start working now start working doesn't mean that till now you are jobless but it means that you might have realized many people whose jupiter rules the sixth and tenth especially these two houses have told me that nothing is happening in their career all right they have some job they have some work or the business is not moving so things are not moving but now it will move 10 times faster okay so now if you are planning to uh, if jupiter is uh, your 10th lord or 11th lord especially lord of these two houses or even if the lord of lagna if you are planning to apply for a promotion or if you are planning to do something at a very big scale then you can do it now okay if jupiter is your 7th lord you will feel that now is the time that you may get marriage proposals depending on the dasha of course okay 7th house can mean a million things but now the next part of the video is on which nakshatra it is okay jupiter is not in a ordinary nakshatra it is in jeshtha nakshatra okay jeshtha nakshatra i have made many videos on jeshtha uh, i have made a video on the lessons from shrimad bhagavatam also on jeshtha so i will pin it down in the description section or in the comments you can see that video if you have not watched okay so jeshtha nakshatra is a very important nakshatra it is ruled by mercury planetary ruler is mercury the sign is scorpio which is ruled by ketu and mars primarily by mars and the most prominent person who is related to jeshtha is indra okay so why indra because the word jeshtha means eldest the top and indra is at the top okay so this means that the houses which are ruled by jupiter will increasingly have a flavor to reach the top so for example if jupiter is your sixth lord or it is your tenth lord then you might have the desire to move at the top of your career and jeshtha also has significations in getting things done somehow by hook or by crook so if the chart is good the chart is positive then you will cut through any obstacles which comes in the way okay and if the chart is not not good if uh, the chart is very weak then you will use devious means wrong means to get things done all right so here is the question which i am giving you because the moment indra did something wrong he was immediately punished very severely okay and he had it totally he had disrespected brihaspati his guru not exactly that he literally disrespected him but that he just didn't respect him when he came to the assembly where indra was being praised and revered and where he was enjoying all the delicacies of the heavens then brihaspati his guru came inside and indra just neglected him in fact he did not even neglect also he he just did not acknowledge him you know not that he purposefully neglected him or uh, insulted him nothing the only mistake was he didn't do anything he was just just like oh anyways brihaspati is here he is there everywhere so but the moment he did that brihaspati left and brihaspati understood that indra because of his offense is going to fall down very soon and indra lost his power position glamour name fame authority everything okay so the biggest lesson is till 5th november to get things done let us not step on the uh what you say na feet uh, not feet head of others <laughs> all right whatever is required let us do it ourselves and whatever is required let us do it in a rightful way okay because one of the other lessons that indra teaches us is he's a very dharmic person he's a very uh, spirit, uh i won't call him a very spiritually elevated because he's a karma mishra bhakta of lord vishnu which means he is a great devotee of lord vishnu but uh, he has ulterior motives you know of his devotion his devotion is not very selfless but at the same time he is extraordinarily pious and he is a great personality indeed and the vedas are filled with pra praises and prayers and glorifications of indra and of course indra is a post as the shrimad bhagavatam says and in this manvantara the current indra his name is purandar and in the next manvantara bali maharaj who is the 
he is one of the 12 mahajans he will be the next indra okay so every manvantara the post of indra keeps getting uh, occupied by somebody else so the thing is that during this time if we follow the codes of the scriptures if we be good human beings then we will see great rewards okay we will see great things that happen in our life things which we have never imagined will be ours okay but at the same time whenever indra commits some blunder he he gets punished very severely and that's the important lesson here indra has committed so many blunders so many so many but even then lord vishnu has not killed killed indra this indra why because he is essentially a very good person okay indra's activities which because of which he falls down because of which he is punished is not because of his wickedness that's because of his weakness so there's a difference between weakness and wickedness all right but the demons who terrorize the universe they are completely wicked so whenever a demon terrorizes the universe lord vishnu directly takes his sudarshan chakra and he chops his head off okay or he takes avatars as ram and krishna and he wipes off uh, the demons like ravan hiranyakashyap kumkaran and hiranyaksha and all these all these demons but with indra he never does that he teaches a lesson to indra very 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 painful lesson like he did in case of govardhan leela where indra tried to challenge lord krishna by flooding the entire vrindavan you know so then indra was so much humiliated that later on he had to you know go and uh, beg forgiveness to lord krishna and then some of krishna forgave him so the point is that now if we do good then great returns will come and if we do something which we might uh, regret later or our family members or anybody of our circle they may regret later that oh why did this person do like that then we will also be very uh, very severely punished okay so no sweet talks here no negativity here direct cut to cut point do good be good good will come to you all right and there's a lot of temptations also which could come up which means there could be a uh, ways by which uh, suppose jupiter is your seventh lord it can happen that you know suddenly somebody comes and gives you some marriage proposal and you may get carried away with it all right so whenever jeshtha is into the picture because brihaspati is there always take guidance of your guru or your counselor or your astrologer family astrologer whoever you have or at least your seniors all right or at least the elders in the family please take guidance all right do not do anything without expert advice or without guidance now i am not uh, saying that if you do you will end up in trouble i am not saying that but this is a this is a recommendation from the side of shrimad bhagavatam because indra had a uh, disrespected brihaspati okay and especially be very careful with anybody uh, related to the those houses with jupiter rules in your chart uh, who is in the top okay so suppose jupiter is your fourth lord all right so then mother so some senior person related to your mother so it could be you know your uh, grandfather you know or grandmother you know it, it could be anybody or your mother's elder brother or mother's elder sister these kind of people okay seventh lord then your wife's elder brother or your husband's you know mother or any anything related to that okay or if it's your 10th lord or 6th lord then your boss specifically your boss all right so have very good relationship with them don't mess up things unnecessarily even if you get temptations all right and don't get carried away and now is the time that you, uh, it is it's a very good opportunity to read uh, that part of the shrimad bhagavatam where we have the story of uh, indra especially okay so of course the bhagavatam has many stories pertaining to indra but especially the story of ritrasur has to be read because this is all related to jeshtha nakshatra okay ritrasur and you can also read about uh, bali maharaj that that is also very significant okay you can also read about vaman dev so these stories you will find in the shrimad bhagavatam so you can read and this is a very good time for putting things in its place okay so now all the confusions will be sorted 
and you will see that the houses with Jupiter rules in your chart. Many of the things you are trying, 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 but it was not happening. But the moment Jupiter goes direct, depending on the dasha, it will start happening. Okay. And what happens, how it happens, how much and how not, that will depend on your dasha. And one last thing which I would like to share is that when you are coming back and now you are running, so the speed will be very high. Okay. So now suddenly you may wonder, oh nothing was happening in this area in the houses with jupiter rules uh, depending on your ascendant now how come suddenly so fast things are happening all right so you may wonder but always keep it in mind that now jupiter is direct and uh, by 5th november he will enter sagittarius and before that he will kind of enter the gandanta zone okay uh, which he had already entered somewhere in end of march because the last degree of Scorpio and the first degree of Sagittarius is a Gandanta zone, okay? So it's a very critical place which uh, Jupiter will enter. That video I will make later. But as of now, that is the lesson. That do good, be good and great things. And when you put full efforts, then you will be at the throne. You will be like Indra, the king of the heavens. Nobody can challenge you nobody can do anything to you all right and if you commit some serious blunders especially uh in matters of opposite sex one should be very careful okay because the the story of ahilya is also there all right and indra had to face very severe punishment because of that by gotham rishi which maybe he will never ever ever forget or anybody else will forget and uh, that is why in the in matters related to the opposite sex be very 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 careful all right and apart from that just do your spiritual practices and read the shimad bhagavatam these stories which i said by that you will understand more you know what is jeshta nakshatra jeshta nakshatra uh, what are the things related to it all right so these are the things which you will no, if you read these stories okay and i can go on and on elaborating but if you can read it yourself why not to <laughs> okay so there you go and uh, many people have requested me for making many other videos so i have started taking polls now so uh last uh, this week sorry i had taken polls for which videos to make okay so in that I had kept uh, Pancha Mahapurush Yoga and then uh, Saraswati Yoga and some other two yogas I had kept and many people voted for Pancha Mahapurush Yoga there and Dharma Karma Dipati Yoga and Kendrum Yoga. Yes, these four yogas I had put and uh, most of the people, majority was around 33% I guess they voted for uh, the first option. Okay, and that was the video which I made. Okay. I mean, uh, which I made yesterday, of course. Okay, so I will take more polls in the future. And just like after this polls, Panch Mahapurush Yoga came out, many other videos will also come out. And the other videos in the options will also come out very soon. Okay, so thank you very much. And if you are new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what will happen if Jupiter goes direct, okay? So, and if you want a consultation from me regarding your birth chart and you are interested to know how the energies are functioning, when Jupiter goes direct, then you can always go down to the description section where you will find the links to my, or link to my website, okay, for getting a reading one-on-one -on -one with me personally okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him